Liminalism is the condition of being between two states. I'm talking about somebody who cannot find, really, a place to settle down and say, uh, this is mine, this is who I am, and where I belong. It's as if, if you got on a train or a bus, and you're in that situation where you sit next to a stranger, and you're surrounded by strangers, and yet you don't feel a compulsion to begin a conversation or get to know these people better, even though they're, they're inside your personal space. Well, that's only possible because of an unspoken agreement among passengers not to recognize the, the bus or the train as a place in its own right. It's, um, it's a temporary non-place where the ordinary rules don't apply, um, where we can put up with, really, an extreme degree of tension because we're essentially in a suspended state. Now, the interesting thing for me is when a person gets stuck in that state. And I think that a train station is a wonderful metaphor for that. And for that matter, a train station hotel that is calling itself Grand Central. This building was the first train station built uh, in Oslo. It's right at the bottom of the main walking street, which leads up to the Royal Palace. Well, I found the, the uh, theme of liminalism to be quite rewarding, and it was not difficult for me to use this assignment as a way of trying out these ideas. So what I've done is developed a handful of compositions uh, from what ultimately will be a full collection. I'm half Norwegian, um, but as I was growing up, we traveled all around Europe, and uh, uh, later I traveled with my father in Asia, <clears throat> so I, I was just always raised as a foreigner, and uh, moving back in adulthood to the United States and, and then Scandinavia, I've never identified intimately with a definite place. Uh, but at the same time, I've not had the struggle of a cultural transplant. I experienced something in an overt way that uh, many people experience more subliminally, and that is uh, being a stranger in your own culture. And in that sense, I am permanently liminal. I don't like to make specific interpretations. I prefer to leave that to the viewer, but Broadly speaking, the meaning in these pieces arises from the way in which the constituent parts play together. Um, a lot of these are borrowed elements already primed with meaning, which I then adulterate and accumulate into new configurations. So eventually all of these meanings converge and the, uh, the notion arises of a being with at least two identities that can't be reconciled, but who at the same time is in love with that very irreconcilability.
I try to make images that um, stand for themselves and that are playful and will work whether you think about them deeply or not. I mean, you shouldn't have to. Uh, most of the people who come to this hotel are not going to be scrutinizing the art that closely. So I don't want to make art that is remote and difficult. What we have is a hotel, which is not a gallery. So the art should be a lot about aesthetics and a striking first impression. But making pictures that are pretty isn't my only ambition.